Hey guys, what's up? It is Matt here, and I am with somebody special. My son, Russell. And we were invited to ride in a combine as they have just kicked off bean harvest in the area. So we're north of Fargo, and uh, we're gonna go check it out. We're just going up to Gardner exit, and we're gonna go east a few miles, and it should be right there. Yep. Yep, this is Mueller Farms. Hi there. Yeah, if, if you're okay with it. I got ice cream. <laughs> All right. Look at, there he is. Nice tractor. So was that your dad or, or your grandpa? That was my grandpa. He goes, you got any money? I said, I got ice cream. He's like, all right. Russell, you ready? So guys, this is Owen. How old are you, Owen? 13. He's 13 years old, driving a dream machine and uh, getting unloaded by the combine and loading the, the trucks. So we're gonna get to ride with them. Let's go. Never come empty handed. Is this cooler gonna fit in there? Oh yeah, look at that. Where'd you go, Russell? Oh. So this is what you do on the weekends and after school, right? Yep. I would say most times after school, but yeah. weekends for sure. How do you tell him to stop? He doesn't stop. That's the point of having a green card. Can you put your dog out? Yeah, we're going to get to see it happen. Real time. So Russell had a great question. He asked, why doesn't he stop and unload? Well, most of you already know this, but if you don't, it's because the combine, you never want to have stop. You want to have that thing always harvesting and always combining, and we are going to come up beside it and let him unload so he doesn't have to stop. There he is. No cap beans today. Have you ever ran the, this tractor in the night? Yeah, no, I've ran it really late. Yeah. Like in the middle of the night? Later than I've wanted to. <laughs> wow, that's cool. Whoa, it's almost all the way filled up. You know, watch it, it's almost out of this hopper. See how it's running out? Yeah. In the auger? Gonna run that auger out empty so this doesn't have any weight in it. There he's done. Now we're gonna pull away. Oh, you're serious about switching right away? Yeah. All right, that was cool. Now we get to go on a combine, just like that. You can do that, Russell. Okay. Pretty good. Yeah. How's the ice cream, buddy? Good. The hopper, it's filling. So this is their yield monitor, right? 
And so that shows them the quality. It can. It shows them actually a picture of it. And then down here, what do we have on? GPS, so I can shift over by one inch increments. Everything up here shows me my header bal is balanced, um, making sure we're getting maximum performance out of the combine and not dropping anything on the ground. Um, here, it's so we've worked, uh, we've combined 127 acres, we've been at it for 6 hours and 13 minutes, 134 gallons of fuel. Uh, the average moisture so far has been 11, 11 and a half percent. Okay. We've averaged 35 bushels an acre. Which isn't terrible for considering the year with yeah. some dryness and lack of rain. So what's really neat about this Curry wind system is, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's, there's soybeans bouncing all over the place. And uh, that air is blowing off the header and it's blowing it into the it's blowing from in front of the header into the header, making sure we don't lose anything. It's just incredible. They gotta be picking up bushels just by having that wind system on there. I don't know if this is a unique year for the shelling of beans, premature shelling, but uh, anytime you see beans floating around, you want them coming in the header. So that's a good deal. And not to mention the Curry wind system is made by Curry Industries right there in West Fargo, neighbors to Fargo. And uh, the previous or the original owner of Curry wind systems is on our board of advisors. There goes the tractor over there coming over. You will see it right out the side. Oh, it's starting to creep up in the window. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Check that out, the uh, little LED strobe here. It's flashing. See it flashing? <laughs> so our uh, hopper is pretty full here. And uh, we got our grain cart coming in right behind us. Got the auger out. Russell, who's coming in? The tractor. And? The grain cart. That's right. Whoa. He's got a buddy riding with him too. Right in the middle. Look at those golden kernels. From the field, into the header. Into the combine. Out the auger. In the grain cart to the bin. Yeah, Owen actually can move the auger back and forth if he needs to get more in the back or the front. See that? But it looks like he's out. He's pulling away. Well, that was fun. Thanks to Owen for letting us ride in the combine. What'd you think of that, Russell? Good. Yeah. So here's the air bar. This thing has a big fan on that end and it actually blows along this tube and then blows down these little tubes and then it's able to blow the beans right into the draper head. So that's pretty neat. Well, that uh, concludes our little adventure. I mean, as far as harvesting and unloading, what'd you think? Good. Do you still love tractors? Yes. Good? Now I love it more. Now you love it more. <laughs> I guess that is the effect we wanted, right? To have a little boy love tractors more. Anyway, 
Really big thanks to Mueller Farms for uh, letting us ride their stuff. To uh, Owen, 13 year old guys, if you're young and uh, you're seeing this, guys, being a part of the farm is, is huge. Look at how much he's, uh, he's already learned and what he's doing at a young age. He's helped me and my house and the guy is incredible. His experience is, is uh, far greater than his age shows and he does a real good job. Great worker, good attitude. It's just what farm kids are, right? Anyway, hey, you guys have an awesome one. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching and uh, God bless. We'll see you next time. Whoa! Whoa, that thing's loud! You better grab some ice cream. Russell, grab him some ice cream. We forgot to give some to the other guy. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs>